Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. This is uh, kind of part two of my how to log on the internet. And this part is kind of dedicated to the ARRL logbook of the world. And if you go on to some of the... Uh, amateur radio uh, websites and get into the forums, you're going to find all kinds of wrong information about LOTW, or Logbook of the World. In the first place, it's not a logbook. Uh, I know they call it Logbook of the World, but it is not a logbook. It's simply a way to electronically match contacts without anybody touching them uh, they're matched up uh, electronically with no interference from you or whoever your contact was and then those contacts are accumulated and available for awards from the ARRL so it was never intended to be a log book it just simply uh, takes your contacts and matches them up with your contactee if that person also uploaded to uh, Logbook of the World. So let's get started and kind of show you how it works. A little bit different than my first video, uh, which was all website based. So let's open up a little browser and uh, here we are. And I've already logged in to ARRL. <clears throat> and our main reason I want to show you this is once you registered with them and you log in, uh, you're going to have access to some things that if you're not, if you're just a guest, uh, won't appear on the screen. So make sure that you register first with the ARRL and... Uh, then you can log in and follow me along. So if you go to the main page and you're going to work on uh, LOTW, well, there's a little link right here on the main page, and you want to click that link. And when you click it, you're going to be taken to this page right here. And... If you're new to Logbook of the World, what you need to do is you need to read this link, and then you need to read this link, and probably this link if you happen to not be uh, a U.S.-based station, if you're a DX entity. But for U.S. stations, you need to read the first two links, and they're going to give you a good overview uh, of the program. Now, a lot of people say this is real hard to set up. Yours truly is an old, antique, 69-year-old, and uh, not known for his great uh, intellectual capacity. And I was able to set this up uh, with absolutely no problem. So uh, <clears throat> if you claim to be an extra and you can't set this up, I'd suggest you go take the extra test again. You probably need to. But anyway, let's, uh, let's click this link, getting started. That's, that's probably the most informative page and we'll take a look at it. So I've already done that, and here it is, getting started. And I would encourage you to read this entire page, and also go on and read some of these blue links, because they'll, they kind of go a little more in depth in certain parts of setting this up. So uh, <clears throat> make sure you really go over this page, getting started with LOTW. But right off the bat, what I want to show you is that in the past, you would have to actually log on to LOTW on the Internet, and then you could upload your uh, contacts once you were logged on. That's not done that way anymore. 
And as you can see, there's a little link right here that says download and install TQSL. And that should be your first step. And let me kind of uh, make this a little bit smaller and get it out of the way and I'll show you what that looks like. Here is the free TQSL program. And once you're fully registered, this resides on your computer. Let's open it up for a minute and see what it looks like. And here we are. Uh, it's very simple. Really, the only thing you have to do from your end, once it's all set up, is you click this first box that says Sign a log and upload it automatically to LOTW. So you click this and of course it's going to go into your computer looking for that ADIF file that I talked about in a prior video and there it is right there. So I'll double click that and I get another box uh, that just says are you W1 XWX uh, in the United States and is that correct? Well, yes, it is. And I click yes and I get a date box. Uh, it is possible just to send up a certain date range of contacts if you fill out these boxes. Uh, let's say from May 1st, uh, 2016 to July 20th, 2016, uh, then it'll only send the contacts from those dates uh, up to LOTW uh, and the ARRL. But if you leave them blank and just say OK, well, then it's going to try to send all the contacts. So I usually just leave it blank and uh, just send the entire ADIF file up there. So you can see it stopped while it was doing that, and it's basically checking my log for entries that may not be correct or for modes or bands that may not be correct. For example, if you make a bunch of D star contacts, those are not recognized by the ARRL. It's got to be a strictly RF radio frequency contact. So it's going to reject all those <coughs> if you've got them in your log, which I do. I have them in my log and uh, I know that the ARRL is going to reject it, but no big deal. I just simply say ignore and the program will continue on uh, and basically ignore any contacts in the log that, that are not RF or might have a problem. So I say ignore and here it goes and you can see it's running through about 3,000 contacts and it's finished already and uh, now it's going to ask me do I want to allow duplicates or do I want to exclude du duplicates and of course I always exclude duplicates so let's do that and since I had already done this earlier in that earlier video today, of course, it couldn't find anything uh, to actually upload because it, I did it about three hours ago. Hadn't been on the radio making contacts since then. But normally, if you do this and you do have new contacts, you're going to get a little report that says, I've captured uh, 10 new QSOs and uh, I'm going to upload those. And once you get that message, you can just simply close this box, which is what I did just then. So uh, <clears throat> that's how it works once you're set up. Once you have that ADIF file on your computer that, remember I got that off of EQSL, uh, off of their website. Uh, once you've got that on your computer, you can just simply send it from your computer directly to the ARRL using this TQSL program. 
Now the other trick that kind of, uh, what would you call it? Uh, there's actually two of them that are kind of seem to be gotchas for folks that don't understand how it works. One of, one of them is uh, you have to set up a separate password to actually get into the LOTW uh, part of the ARR we website. You can use, it says not to, but you can use the exact same uh, username and password as you use for the ARRL. It makes no difference. Uh, I use the same username password uh, to log on to the ARRL, and I use that exact same password to log in to LOTW. Now, I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> but that's one of the first gotchas up here where it's talking about LOTW account password, you know, is not the same as the one you uh, logged in on. Well, yeah, it can be the same, but you have to have to go ahead and set up another one, which you do right there on the ARRL website. So uh, that's one gotcha. The other one is that uh, once you have this program set up, TQSL, uh, uh, you've got to request your first code and have that verified by uh, the ARRL. And the way they're going to do that is they're going to send you a postcard with some numbers on it. And you're going to enter those numbers into TQSL one time for the very first time. And from then on, it will work automatically. So, yes, you're going to have to uh, wait for a postcard to reach your house with the code, the unique code that they've given you, to load into TQSL. So once you've done that, now let's assume you've done that already, then it just becomes as simple as I showed you before. You just double click the icon, uh, point it to the ADIF file, and it will upload it and merge that uh, new file into your previous contacts. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go back to here for a second. And remember, this is the page you came to. If you click the LOTW button, you go to this page. Well, once you've got everything set up, uh, let's assume you've got your postcard, you've set it all up, you sent in your first uh, ADIF file, and it had 2,000 contacts in it, or whatever it had. Well, at that point, then you can go to the ARRL site, click, LOTW, once you're logged in, which is I'm logged in already. And then you come to this second page, and right here in the page, you can see log in to your LOTW account. So here we go. I've logged in. And of course, I'm already logged in. <laughs> uh, previously, you can see up here URW1XWX. And this is LOTW's section of the ARRL website. And if you click right here where it says Awards, it'll give you a little uh, listing here. Of, and I've got really two basic ones set up. One of them is the Worked All States. WAS award, and I've also got my DXCC award set up. This one shows up automatically. This one, you have to actually put it in there, uh, give it a, a name or uh, of some sort, and uh, uh, tie it to your uh, call sign, which in my case is W1XWX. So once you do that, then you'd have a DXCC award account. 
So what's kind of neat about this, you can come to this site, log in, go to the awards, and then you can click on DXCC, for example, and it will take you to your contacts, and here they are. So you can see in LOTW, in mixed contacts, I've got 84 countries or entities. I've got 84. Another 16, and I will have a DXCC award, uh, which is what I'm working on right now. A little further down, you can see how I'm doing with various other DXCC awards and phone 73 or phone via phone, which is voice. So 73 of these 84 are voice. If you look down a little further, I've got 40 countries, digital, and so forth down the list. The challenge is a special award for working three different uh, modes. Uh, so that that's probably one of the last ones I'll try to do. So let's jump back into awards again, and I'll show you the worked all states part. So here's the worked all states part. And you can see I already have uh, worked all states. Got a little asterisk right here. I have it in mixed, uh, which is part digital, part phone or voice. I have it in 20 meters and I have it in phone alone. So uh, you might be wondering, why does that say 49 and it has an asterisk? That's because I had to send in one card from Oklahoma uh, using a card checker that I described in a previous video. And after checking my Oklahoma card on 20 meters, he sent in the paperwork and uh, they issued me the award uh, for 20 meters worked all states, but only 49 of them were electronic. Electronic. That last one was a card. So you can see how, where you stand on various ways. I'm, I'm trying to get digital also. I'm at 48 states in digital on worked all states. And if you're wondering, well, how do you figure out what you're missing? Well, let's just click the digital over here. We're gonna get another page. And <clears throat> these are the credits that I already have. But if you wanna see all of the credits, a list, and that way you can see what you're missing. And I'll go select that kind of view and it'll refresh the page and you can see I'm missing Hawaii and I'm missing North Dakota. And once I have those two contacts as a digital contact, that'd be PSK31 or RITI, RTDY or JT65 or JT9 or some digital mode, once I get a contact in Hawaii and a contact in North Dakota, I'll be eligible for another Worked All States award uh, for digital, for digital. So with that said, that's really all there is to it. The main thing is you have to set up another uh, username and password for the LOTW access point and let me kind of show you that and see if i have it open here no i don't let's just close these pages i'll do it for real and you can see it so here we are so i'll click this and remember you get this next page with some documentation and then a little further down the page is where you log in there it is and since I've already logged in, it just took me right there. But normally it takes me to a logon page. 
and I just use the same username and password as I used for my AR, regular ARRL account. So that's really all there is to it. And uh, let me log off of here, kind of close this. And don't forget, you got to download that piece of software to get going. Read those instructions, especially the first two. Read those fully and understand what you have to do with this software when you get your postcard from the ARRL with that uh, with your code on it. You have to open this up and enter that code. So with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Everybody be good.